Let's look at some examples of where we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So the question says, work out the missing values in the following right angle triangles. So Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, where c is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So if we first start by labeling this triangle with a, b and c, we have that the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the right angle. So that's this side here, we can label it as c. And the other two sides can be labeled in any way we like. So we could start by labeling this as A and this as B. We could do that the other way around as well and it wouldn't make any difference. Next thing is to substitute our values into the theorem. So we have that A squared, in this case 12 squared plus B squared, which in this case is 5 squared, equals to C squared, which in this case is X squared. 12 squared is equal to 144, 5 squared is equal to 25, and that equals to x squared. Adding these two values together, we get 169 equals to x squared. And then finally, taking the square root of both sides, we end up with 13, which equals to x. Therefore, as a measurement, x is equal to 13 centimeters. The second example, we first start by labeling the triangle with a, b, and c. So in this case, the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the right angle, which is 29 centimeters. So that's labeled as C. And then we can label the other two sides however we like. So I'll label this as A and this as B. So we have that A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. And so now we need to substitute our values in. So we have Y squared, B is equal to 20. So we have plus 20 squared, and that equals to C squared, which in this case is 29 squared. This simplifies to y squared plus 400, which equals to 841. Taking away 400 from both sides, we're left with y squared equals to 441. And then square rooting both sides, we get that y equals to 21. Therefore, as a measurement, y is equal to 21 centimeters. Finally, in this last triangle, we have that the side opposite the right angle is 8.3 centimeters, and so that's the hypotenuse C, and the other sides we can label however we like. So we'll label this as B, and we'll label this as A. Using Pythagoras' theorem, so A squared plus B squared equals to C squared, we get the following. We have 7.1 all squared plus Z squared equals to 8.3 all squared. Now, if we square 7.1, we end up with 50.41, and that is added to z squared, which equals to, so 8.3 all squared is equal to 68.89. Taking away 50.41 from both sides, we have that z squared equals to 18.48. And then square rooting both sides, we get that z equals to 4.29883752. And if we round this value to two decimal places, we get that z equals to 4.30. And so therefore, our answer as a measurement for z is 4.30 centimeters.